What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're having an amazing day out there so far. So today we got a special priority request coming in from one of our patrons, Linda. Linda, thank you so much for your continued generosity and support of our channel. You always keep us informed in the comments section. You're bringing us the information and you always suggest good music for us to listen to and check out, expanding our musical knowledge and our horizons. And we greatly appreciate it. So we're going to be looking at Elvis, and this is Love Me Tender, live with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So I'll be honest with you, I just really don't know much about Elvis. Um, you know, I know the the sparkly suits and the swaying hips, and, you know, he played guitar, he's a singer. Um, that, that's, a, that's about the extent of it, if I'm being all the way honest. It was just never really my speed. I had a childhood friend growing up that loved Elvis. I just never really got into it. So I've obviously heard Love Me Tender, um, but I don't know that I've ever actually heard the song all the way through, um, but I've definitely heard bits and pieces of it. So I'm looking forward to checking it out today. You know, he's the king for a reason. So it's really on me for not knowing too much about him, but we're going to change that today. We're going to listen to this for the first time all the way through, and I'll get to hear the king, hopefully in all his glory. But before we get into it, a few ways you guys can continue to support the channel. Right down below, you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's an easy and free way to show some love and support the channel. You can also head on over to Patreon and become a member there. If that doesn't work for you, right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member. Both of those are going to get you access to priority requests as well as other perks and features and then as always with a one-time donation through buy me a coffee you can get a guaranteed request either me or steven will check out right here on the channel all right y'all let's get into it <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. Elvis Presley, Love Me Tender with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm excited. Again, this is, as far as I'm aware, the first time I've ever heard the song all the way through that I can remember. So I'm excited to check it out. Let's see. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender, love me true. All my dreams fulfill For my darling I love you And I always will Hey, he's got a unique voice, man. It's, uh... It's just Elvis, right? Like, I don't even know that much about him. I've never really listened to really any of his music um, for any length or really dove into any of it. But it's distinctly Elvis, right? Like, he starts singing, and it's just immediate. I don't know enough about him to really give, like, a ton of opinion on a lot of his music, but I know Elvis. His voice is just... And it's the way that he phrases things, the way that he rolls words into each other, the way his accent kind of comes through, which is um, which is odd when you're singing. Right. But it's just the way that he sings is so unique and so distinctive. Um, we got a lot of people in the last time that we did an Elvis video. Um, someone had requested this uh, with the orchestra as well. And there was a lot of hate comments talking about how this had ruined the song. And I've never heard the original, so it can't really ruin it for me. Um, or again, if I have heard the original, I don't really remember what it sounds like. 
So for me though, this sounds this sounds awesome. The orchestra adds a whole beautiful texture to it on top of, you know, um the guitar that he's playing. I'm assuming that's him playing the guitar. Um not really for sure. But it adds a whole nother layer of just beauty and texture to it. I think it's awesome. All right. Let's take it back a couple seconds and get back into it. It's such a sweet song too. It's it's nice. Love me tender, love me long, take me to your heart, for it's there that I belong, and will never part, love me tender, love me I love how that's swelling up there. My dreams fulfill for my darling, I love you, and I always will. So I don't know, did he write this song? Um, I'm not really for sure if this was like a cover that he just made famous or if he legitimately wrote the song. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know enough about Elvis if he wrote most of his music, because uh, I've always kind of known like Elvis the showman, right? Um, like just putting on a performance, you know, getting the crowd going. Obviously he was a ladies man through and through. Um, but I don't know, like, was he a songwriter? Did he just play the guitar? Was it more of a stage prop? I, I legitimately don't know. So fill me in in the comments. I'd love to know. Um, cause this is a beautiful song. It's really well done, really well written. So if he wrote it, kudos to him. Cause it, uh, I really do enjoy it. It's got a great melody. It's got a great flow to it. And again, I, I really do think the, the orchestra adds a beautiful element to it that I guess wasn't there before in the original song. So, all right. We're going to ride it out here. Love me tender, love me dear, tell me you are mine. I'll be yours through all. Till the end of time Love me tender Love me true All my dreams fulfill Beautiful progression right there For my darling I love you And I all I love that resolution right there. I love that. Hey, that was good. That was really good. I, I'm surprised that people would be upset about the orchestra stuff, him doing it with them. I I don't know. Again, I don't know the original song very well, if at all. But for me, like it's, I think it sounds awesome. If I could sing, I would totally sing this song to my wife. But I can't sing. And so I don't know if she would love me tender after I sang to her, <laughs> even with a song as beautiful as this, because my voice would not do it justice. And Elvis' voice, A, hey, fit it perfect. It was, it was really good. And I'm, I'm shocked. Like, I knew he was good, right? You know, but I didn't know enough about him to really, to truly formulate an opinion. But like, it, hey, he's legit. That's why he's the king. All right, y'all. What'd you think? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Um, the orchestra added a super cool element um, for me that I think I would probably prefer to hear it this way. Uh, maybe I'll have to go back and check out another version of it without the orchestra. Uh, but for me, I, I love strings. I love what they bring to the table. Um, I feel like they provided a good dynamic lift to the song. It was done really well. Elvis's voice is killer. I mean, you already knew that. Um, like I said, I don't know if that was him playing the guitar in there. If it was, cool. Guitar sounded good. It's a nice, simple guitar part. Really, uh, 
his vocal just carried it, which I guess it's Elvis, right? You know, his showmanship, his performance, his vocal is what's carrying his music. Um, and rightfully so, you know, he's a heck of a showman, but I, I genuinely like the song. This is, uh, I, I guess this really probably was the first time that I've listened to it all the way through and I'm impressed. Hey, you know, you don't get the title of the King without being, without being legit. All right, y'all, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so every time we drop new content, you guys can be made aware. Linda, thank you again for being a patron and making this video happen. This is actually going to be a double feature. We got a Dan Vask version of this coming up next that was a double request, so make sure to check out that video coming up around the same time. All right, y'all, we'll see you on the next one.